Oof. Nintendo has been frustrating a bunch of us lately with their strange summer plans or lack of plans. So I wanted to shift the focus back to what we love about Nintendo and I'm ranking all of Nintendo's first party published Switch games in efforts to remember that man, these guys are good. So what's going on everybody? It's Zachary with Switch Force. Let's see what we do. If you wanna participate, I'm putting a link to this tier maker ranking list in the description, make your own ranking, share it with me on Twitter. Let's see what you think. And if you disagree with me, normally I'd say like, be nice, but no, I'm just gonna say, come at me in the comments. All right, show me why I'm wrong. We got tiers, we got games, let's roll. To show you that this is not some clickbaity dumb list just to be weird and adjace, I'm gonna put one that needs to be top tier right away. Where are you? My favorite Zelda, there we go. Triple S tier for Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. The sequel can't come soon enough. All right, let's get another one up there in that super top tier. I just feel like this is necessary. Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, what a game. Making King K. Rule playable, one of the best decisions mankind has made. Mankind doesn't make a lot of good decisions, so, you know, the scale is a little bit tipped, but I appreciate that. So many characters, I literally don't know how that game will be topped. I, I really, I, good luck, Sakurai. Maybe, <laughs> good luck. All right, let's put fitness boxing. One and two down here in F tier. I'm sorry to those of you that are fans of boxing, but nah, 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 nah. Now something like Kirby Star Allies is interesting because Kirby Star Allies might be higher up if they didn't do Kirby. New Kirby Forgotten Land, but I like Kirby Forgotten Land. So I'm gonna go C tier for Star Allies and then Forgotten Land is actually gonna be S tier. That might be high for some of you, but I love what they did here. And I think it was a fantastic reimagining of Kirby and, and one of my favorite recent experiences on Switch. Now, something I didn't really love that much on Switch is Bravely Default 2. It's just not the JRPG for me. I could see some people disagreeing, uh, but it's it's just not the JRPG for me. Um, Splatoon 2, man, oh man. I feel like Splatoon 2 is S tier. I feel like Splatoon 3 is really unknown right now, but Splatoon 2, I was really into that. And that first year, they just battered us with good game after good game after good game and note Mario plus Rabbids isn't on here because Ubisoft published that, okay? Let's take something like Metroid Dread though. Metroid Dread is up there in triple S tier. This game, I I think of it as so Nintendo. Like it's such a Nintendo game. It's something they would have made on Game Boy or on Super Nintendo or on DS or on any of the systems. Like Dread is just dreadfully good. Now, some people would say one, two, Switch is dreadfully bad. I think it's just okay bad. I Part of me liked milking cows with Editor Gabe. We had a good time listening to Ice Cubes. It was like a cute thing when you weren't burning your eyes playing Zelda till 4 a.m. Should not have been $60. Don't really want a sequel, but hey. All right, let's take a game like Super Mario Party and say for me, Super Mario Party was probably better than most people gave it credit for. I like the game. I like the individual dice blocks, but it is quite clear that Mario Party Superstars is better. This game moves to S tier if they ever drop DLC, but right now it's got a limited amount of maps. They did bring it online, which was pretty freaking sweet. Mario Odyssey, that triple S tier goodness. I feel like this triple S tier is huge, but it is Nintendo after all, so makes sense. Paper Mario Origami King. For me, this is like a B tier game. Better than Kirby. Maybe not as good as other Kirby. WarioWare, get it together. Oh, I wanted to like this one more than I did. I really did. Micro games are fun, but something about this just, it didn't grab me as much in the modern area as it used to. Animal Crossing. You know what? I'm sorry. Animal Crossing is going from triple S to S. Dun, dun, dun. They stopped supporting it. Animal Crossing can be at the front of S, but this is just bothersome that they, why they gotta stop? Why they gotta stop? Luigi's Mansion 3, rocking the shirt. That is an S tier game. Do I, want, I don't know. This is like a tough call. It's one of Nintendo's best like linear single player games. Splatoon 2 is kind of, kind of everything. Um, Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3, this is Nintendo published. And I think Mua is fine. I didn't love it, I think it's fine. On the other hand, I do think Link's Awakening is S tier. I, I really, really like Link's Awakening. Not as much as I like these others, but I do really like Link's Awakening. Mario Bros. Deluxe. 
It's boring. Like, I really enjoy the challenge mode that they have where you're trying to do, like, Mario stuff timed. I think those are really fun. But this is one of the most pedestrian, boring releases on Switch, and so is Brain Training. Brain Training just feels very boring. Clubhouse Games, on the other hand, is not boring. Clubhouse Games is pretty darn good. And I'm going to put Clubhouse Games... Clubhouse Games is, like, high B tier for me. Call me crazy, I love board games, and this is like one of the coolest implementations of that known demand. Donkey Kong Country, Tropical Freeze is triple S tier. If they do not make a new Donkey Kong game soon, I'm gonna become Donkey Kong. Not, I don't know how much money that'll cost, but I'm willing to put forth the funds. Okay, Pikmin 3 Deluxe. Pikmin 3 is super good. Is Pikmin 3 as good? See, this is like the rose-colored nostalgia glasses. Pikmin 3 is S tier in the Wii U era, but is Pikmin 3 S tier in the Switch era? I'm gonna be dangerous and put Pikmin 3 Deluxe in the A tier. The multiplayer mode is really underrated, but it's time for a new Pikmin. Like this game came out eons ago. Many babies have been born since Pikmin. Now ARMS is gonna be top of the B tier for me. I had a lot of fun with ARMS. Not the most content, no real single player, got very sparse online, but they DLC'd it up with sick characters, unique concept, and if you played locally with motion controls, you had a good time. I love that. I got so competitive with this one. It was ARMS 2, baby. Maybe we should have had ARMS 2 instead of Splatoon 3. Am I crazy? Probably, but that would have been good. Uh, Mario Strikers. Oh, this pains me. This pains me because this is a good game, but it's so basic. Do I put it low B tier or high C tier? It's a really good game. The mechanics are really good. Oh, God. <laughs> behind arms okay top of b tier it's really good and maybe with dlc it can climb like the mechanics are phenomenal but the actual content is so lacking mario kart 8 deluxe you know this is top tier for me i love mario kart 8 i think it's my maybe top three nintendo game of all time please please do more dlc the mario 3d all-stars collection that's an s tier game galaxy on the go was pretty hot the ports didn't really get a lot of love, but it was nice to have them all in one package, even though Nintendo didn't want to sell it forever. Mario 3D World plus Bowser's Fury. I'm going to upset some people with that one. You see where I put that? I'm telling you, Bowser's Fury is the future of Mario. New Pokemon Snap really got me early on, but it didn't. It doesn't have staying power. And, and Mario Maker 2 is kind of the opposite. Mario Maker 2 was great in the beginning and then kind of faded for me. Although I do think Mario Maker 2 is still fun. It's still a good time, and the multiplayer component, the multiplayer component is pretty nifty. I like Mario Maker 2. I know people kind of soured on it over time, but, and I thought I did, but maybe, maybe I didn't. Okay, maybe I did. Bayonetta 1 is getting a physical layer this year, but right now it's just Bayonetta 2. Bayonetta, Bayonetta is a good game, but it's not my favorite. I'm looking forward to Bayonetta 3 kind of maybe re, revitalizing the franchise for me. I really like Bayonetta 1. Fell off Bayonetta 2, and I'm hoping that B3 can be the one for me. You know what I mean? Uh, Captain Toad Treasure Tracker is a really fun game. <laughs> Probably right about there. It's like a nice B tier. It's not full price, which I respect much. It's a really, it's like a fun concept. And they added some new Odyssey themed levels, which I thought was pretty sick. Mario Tennis Aces. See, Tennis Aces is a little bit, maybe not as good mechanically as Strikers, but it has better content. It does have better content, and I really, really like that. I was so into it. I was so into Tennis Aces. Tennis Aces, nah, man. If I'm going to put 3D All-Stars up here, Tennis Aces is S tier for me. Tennis Aces is S tier. Now, golf is not. Uh, eventually, golf got better, but golf started out a little bit boring for me. I'll put golf right there. It's a B tier for me. The new courses are more engaging, but it's like that whole dilemma. Like, do you rate a game how it comes out or how it finishes? This one... I'll just kind of take the average and put it right there. I think Pokemon Tournament does not get enough love. I think Pokemon Tournament is a pretty good game. I think it's a strong B tier, and I would like to see Pokemon 2. I think Nintendo should do that. Uh, Mystery Dungeon, on the other hand, not really my cup of tea. Um, I do think it's probably more fun than Bravely Default 2, in my opinion, so we'll put it there. Let's go. Let's go was a really good time. That was like the nostalgic throwback to little kid me in my tent in my backyard playing Pokemon Red until I couldn't see it anymore. And then I eventually got a warm light. Really good game. Sword and Shield, not as much. I call me a non-believer, but I'm not the biggest Sword and Shield fan. 
I just didn't really like that. But Legends Arceus, on the other hand, Legends Arceus is pretty close to triple S tier. Legends Arceus, for me, it just really revamped a lot. Legends Arceus probably goes about there. It, if they, uh, if there wasn't all the loads, if it was a little more modern, it could be triple S. And I think it was a, had wow factor. I think it was impressive at the start. But over time, I think Legends Arceus won't be the best Pokemon on Switch. Scarlet Violet will. Uh, so I'm going to put it there. We got a lot of Zelda still to do here. Skyward Sword. Skyward Sword won me over more second time than first time, which is impressive. It's hard to put a port, though. I'm going to put it... Hmm, I put it right here. I think that's fair for Skyward Sword, okay? The other hand, the Warriors games... The Warriors games are all kind of fine. I don't know, man. They can like, all kind of go in this region for me. Age of Calamity is probably the best one. You know what? Age of Calamity is better than... Oh, Age of Calamity is better than these. Age of Calamity is... Age of Calamity is right up there with... Age of Calamity is pretty good. Age of Calamity ain't bad. I'm sorry, new Pokemon Snap. Age of Calamity is going to try to take your little spot there. Hey, mm, Age of Calamity is pretty good. Age of Calamity is... Age of Calamity is... <laughs> <laughs> Age of Calamity. Do I like Age of Calamity? I think I like Age of Calamity. I think. Okay, we gotta, we gotta chill. Don't get too crazy there. All right, I'm saving some good ones for last. And by good ones, I mean ones that are gonna kind of throw you for a loop. Game Builder Garage. No, this ain't, this ain't for me. Uh, it's probably better than Fire Emblem Warriors. I don't, I don't like Fire Emblem Warriors. I think if you're gonna do Warriors, give me that Zelda action. Give me some crazy characters and crazy enemies. Yoshi's Crafted World pains me to put it this low, but it's it's also kind of right down there in this range. It's right it's right down there in that range. It, I, you know, and looking at this, I think WarioWare does need to go above Kirby. Kirby get, did get better after release, so Star Allies got some notable improvements. We got a lot of JRPGs to sell stuff through here, man. Uh, okay, Fire Emblem Three Houses. I recognize what it is, but I don't love it. I don't, yeah. This is the one I know everyone's gonna disagree and that's fine. I know Fire Emblem Three Houses is A tier for most people. You know what, I'll, I'll do you I'll do you in between. I would put it low because for me, it's not my favorite, but I know everybody really loves it. So I'm gonna move it up and we'll go somewhere in between. We'll go, we'll go right there. I think that feels fair. This B tier is really filling up. Now Fire Emblem Warriors Three Hopes, I just don't, I just don't care about you. It's maybe a bit better than Game Builder Garage. I just don't really care about it. Uh, the World Ends With You, one of my favorite DS games. I didn't really care to play it again, but this is a good game. This is a fun game, and it probably fits right around here. It, it was really great on DS. I loved it on DS, and the fact that they were able to catapult it into Neo, The World Ends With You, is really good. Xenoblade Chronicles 2, again, I just don't love these games. I'm hoping that three can turn it around for me. I'm really hoping, but I look at some that are below. I'm like, I cannot put this thing freaking below Yoshi's Crafted World, even if I didn't love it. I put it right here, okay? And then Xenoblade Chronicles 1, like, I don't, I don't even know what to do with that. That's kind of like, a, I can't even, I don't even know. I definitely did not replay it on Switch. It's like a, great that they brought it. All right, let's instead do Pokemon Brilliant Diamond, which I think is probably worse than Sword and Shield. I don't have a lot of love for Brilliant Diamond. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pop Brilliant Diamond right there in that C tier. Oof. Our top seven is a is a hot list. Animal Crossing should be up here. It's just they didn't support it enough, man. Astral Chain is a pretty good game. Uh, I'm gonna for me that's gonna be right about i like that better than bayonetta too so that's gonna go right about there triangle strategy is that it's not really my cup of tea but it, i do like the strategy elements better than the warrior stuff and i'm gonna move mua above hyrule warriors and actually above yoshi and brilliant diamond that that's gotta go there right mua can be better than kirby starlized that feels better and then xenoblade chronicles i'm just gonna leave it because i don't really know what to do with it but i think this is the list um I probably have a lot more B and C than you're anticipating, but my S, Triple S, and A, like that is a super strong list of 19 games. Basically 20, almost half of Nintendo's first party published titles are up here in basically like, good job, you're you're one of the best in the business. I kind of want to get an even 20. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, right? 7, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, yeah. But it feels wrong putting Strikers in A. That game came out 
So, yeah. All right, well, I'm waiting for the 20th A. Maybe it'll be Xenoblade Chronicles 3. Maybe it'll be Splatoon 3. TBD, but let me know your list. Let me know where I'm wrong. Let me know where I'm right. And I'm sorry for the like NA on Xenoblade Chronicles, but I don't know where to put it. Fitness Boxing bringing up the rear. Zelda Mario, Mario, Metroid, Mario, Mario, Donkey Kong up on top. And you guys are the very best. Thanks so much for watching. Hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay happy, stay positive out there. And until next time, this was a ton of fun. Switch Force, out.